Welcome to the Opal Foundation series. At Opal, we are fortunate to work with some of the most exceptional brands in the world. In this series, we bring you lessons learned from the front lines by extraordinary storytellers. In this four chapter episode, Creativity in Storytelling, we welcome Ashley Edwards, Communications Manager for Human Exploration and Operations at NASA. Okay, Ashley, in our previous chapters, we've identified the value of our brand, clarified the nugget of truth, made it personal, and explored awesome partnerships. Now it sounds like we've got everything in place to go forward, right? Well, you haven't gotten here without the team. There's no way to get to where you're in an active, awesome partnership with a great story and amazing content if you haven't already built the, the coolest team. Um, I recommend uh, having people that are different, that are different than you in the way they think about the world, in the way they um, approach the world, maybe in some of their backgrounds. Um, so, so diversity is really good. I remember one time I was looking around the room and I was like, there's not, a, there's no man in here. Like somebody go get a man. We need a man's opinion. And it wasn't because it's not, it's not just about gender or, or race or anything. It's, it's really about people's um, perspectives and, and, and how they approach the world. So it's in, you know, one of my, the person that I bounce the most ideas off who has been um, a part of my team for years uh, just drives me crazy sometimes. She is so amazing because she's the person that asks all the questions. She asks questions like, well, why is this? And, and then I'll ask questions back. And, and what it ends up being is a really exceptional uh, person that you can really dig down with. Um, it, it, she's very, uh, she really wants good answers. And so she really kind of demands you give good answers. And so you really have to think about your answers. And so that's something that is really, really good, especially when you're in a fast paced environment, you can say, well, go, go do such and such. And they well, why? Well, well, you know what? And it can be frustrating when you're really working fast, but I cannot tell you how many times having somebody that, that really wants to understand what's going on um, is super beneficial to keeping, you know, you from going too fast. Um, having, having a team that, is also very passionate that shares, uh, shares your personal um, investment in the product is really important. It's critical. That's one of the reasons like why I said before, you know, I really try to make sure that anybody that's on my team has a personal experience. Um, in fact, I, I don't, I don't have anybody on my team that hasn't, that I haven't allowed to have really personal experiences with, uh, with the human space flight. Um, it's critical. And I've had some people that have tried to be on my team that have, uh, they've done a fine job, but they don't, their heart doesn't beat it. And it's, it's not, it's not enough. It's not enough for us. So having the team around you, that's going to push you to, to think critically and, and strive for the best and push each other. And then um, to come up with ideas on their own. Like that's one of the things that I really, really love is when, you know, maybe I don't even see a problem or don't even know they're working on something. And then they just say, well, you know, Hey, we've been working on this because we think this solves a problem with the, with the story that we're telling. I mean, that is having self-motivated people who are really invested in what it is that you're trying to do is just a, is a super awesome, uh, super awesome moment. And uh, when I also think that when you, when you have this great strong team, where things can go off the rails is if you don't stay consistent with the brand, because then it, be, it can feel personal to people. So, so that's another reason why consistency is so valuable. It's like, it doesn't matter who, who offered the idea or who came up with it. If the answer is always, it's, it's, it's not about, I like this person's idea or artistic style or something better. It's about, the, the, the equal measuring stick of does it meet the consistency of our story and the value of our brand, then you, you can really help um, just kind of level the playing field in the sense of, uh, of, of what rises to the top and what doesn't. 
All right, Ashley, so now we put it all together, right? The recipe for storytelling success at NASA. So here we are, we're at the end. We, uh, we talked about having like the most amazing team that you get to work through all of this with. You, you know your brand deeply, it's a personal friend. You know exactly what it is that you're trying to communicate about any product that, that lives inside of that brand or that would that brand is supposed to wear. You, you have made it personal. It's personal to you. It's personal to the people that you're talking about, talking to, and it's, and you've left the door open for them to continue a personal relationship. You have been consistent in your messaging. So you are on point all the time, repeating the, the, the exact right things that you want people to know about, the exact way you want them to know it, the exact creative style that, that it re reinforces all of the things that we talked about previously. And, and so now you've got these amazing partnerships and you're just, you're building this, this little empire of, of storytelling and thinking about all the different ways. And, and, and so that's, that's kind of the secret of my success. That's the way when I think about it, I, I break it all down. It, any problem, it starts at the beginning, you know, get, get your solid team around you. Remember who you are. Put that new product in place. Ask what, why, why do we even want to talk about it? What do, what do people want to know about it? Then find that point of connection with those people. Get that, get that brand uh, product style guide, that, that uh, messaging framework, and, and just beat it to death. And then go find a partner that wants to help you tell your story. And, uh, you know, that's, that's where um, it gets really, really fun. Uh, that's where you see the most reward, but you have to do all the upfront work. And uh, I hope that this is valuable to some of you. Thank you, Ashley. I know that this recipe for success of yours will be a great resource for a lot of marketing teams and marketers looking to emulate that dynamic storytelling that you and your team at NASA do really, really well. Um, Ashley, thank you so much for sharing your insights on the Opal Foundation series. But before we say goodbye, we have three short questions for you. The first is, what drives you daily in your work at NASA? My team. A hundred percent. I know that if I'm not up and moving, they, they, they have things they need. They, they have ideas that they want to talk about. Um, even on days when it's just kind of overwhelming, it's, it's the team and knowing that you've got the people with you in the trenches that you want to be there with. Um, and that there's going to be some gallows humor at times. And, and that's, that's really what drives me um, on the day to day. What, what motivates me to, to stay as a career is uh, I just believe in exploration. I believe in it for, you know, just deeply. I think it's important that people explore. I think it's important that our country explores. And uh, so it's a, it's, it's a mission that I, uh, I am personally invested in. What's your communications or marketing superpower? I think my superpower is knowing when I've gotten there and knowing when I haven't. So, and I, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's, it's, it's continuing to drive until I get the answer that I need and then knowing when I've got it and go, that's it. And then moving out quickly with confidence once I'm there, but not going before I'm ready. And uh, it's, it's, it's a timing thing and it's a, it's a yeah, it's that, it's that intuition that uh, comes with, uh, really knowing, knowing what you're looking for. And finally, Ashley, what's next for you and NASA? What are you excited about? Well, I certainly don't want to, you know, shoot myself in the foot by saying something that might not come true. I mean, obviously the thing that I am the most excited about with regard to, to my career is being at NASA when we um, return to the moon with, uh, with the first woman and the next man. Um, I, I cannot wait because we know that we're going to go in a, in a way that is uh, 
is, is, is sustainable, that, that it's not just we're going to go and we're going to say we did it. Like we're actually, we've got, a, we've got a plan to really build it up. And I think the other thing that I can't wait to see is the buildup of the, of the commercial space sector in low Earth orbit. I mean, we're getting to see right now um, the, the, you know, commercial crew program, SpaceX and NASA in partnership, and we're going to see Boeing um, and NASA in partnership. And having a market that is beginning to open up um, in space. That's, it's not government necessarily. It's like private companies doing things that they want to be doing and having that supply and demand economy in low earth orbit. Um, it may sound strange, but one of the, one of the goals that a lot of us have at NASA is a day where we have a, you know, a rocket with people in it going to a space station or to a, to a space hotel and all of these wonderful things happening that we're not a part of at all. Because these standards have been set and, and the world has embraced um, the, the, the space around our planet as a, as a part of its home. And so uh, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to be communicating about it and to be telling those stories when, they, when the time is right. What a privilege to work somewhere like NASA where dreaming is absolutely a part of your job. It's necessity. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ashley, thank you so much for sharing your insights on the Opal Foundation series. We look forward to sharing more stories from you in the future. Thanks again. It's been my pleasure. Thank you for engaging with the Opal Foundation series. For more chapters from this episode and other inspiring stories from the world's best marketing and communications professionals, visit workwithopal.com.